Welcome everybody, this is Under the Arch Sports. I'm Eric Hobbs and today we're going to talk about Yadier Molina and his absence from the games in Arizona over this weekend. Before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and find us on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. Alright, so in case you uh, missed this, Yadier Molina is not with the team this weekend. Uh, he's missing tonight's game, Saturday, um, and he will miss Sunday's game. And, you know, it's business reasons is uh, the, the official explanation. In reality, he's in Puerto Rico. The team, the basketball team that he owns is playing for a championship. So really, he's there in his capacity as an owner. Um, it's not sitting well with a lot of Cardinal fans. So I guess really the big reason that I, I decided to talk about this is just because it's a, it's a weird situation. It's unprecedented. Uh, he's on, the idea is on the restricted list, okay? Most fans, yeah, at, pissed. Uh, a lot of the, the sentiment seems to be that Yadi doesn't care about the team. He's got his, he, he's thinking about, you know, post Cardinals retirement and so forth. And yeah, the optics are not good in terms of Yadi being committed to this team in 2022. Um, he's getting a lot of leeway from the Cardinals. I think that's clear, you know, from between this and then this extended time in Puerto Rico with, you know, I guess the doctors and trainers that he's used to down there, uh, back at, at his home. All right, fine. Um, yeah, it's it's unique. Um, he's getting a lot of leeway. I don't think that some guy. I don't. I don't think Paul Young or Lars Newtbar would get this much leeway. Um, just to use you know an example. But. Yeah, I guess that kind of comes with the territory when you're talking about a generational type player who is going to have his number retired, he's going to be in the Hall of Fame, and over his career he's one of the two or three most beloved players of the last 30 years um, for the Cardinals. Yeah, he, he gets a little more slack than other players. That's part of the territory. Is this too much? That's for you to decide. If you're going to decide that this is wrong, Yadier Molina does not get 100% of the blame here. Again, if you if you don't think there's anything wrong, then well, the rest of this video might be kind of moot for you. Um, but yeah, Yadier Molina does not get 100% of the blame here if you decide this is wrong and shouldn't be happening. Um, this is an excused absence, as I said. Yadier Molina brought this to the Cardinals and they said, all right, they approved it. So if you're not happy about it, talk to the Cardinals front office, right? They, they knew about this. I'm not convinced that there's not some sort of prearranged deal where for at least chunks of the season, especially once he got hurt earlier this year, he had an opportunity to kind of be in and out a little bit more than you would expect out of a, a normal player, uh, for lack of a better term. I don't know. If that's something where it's understood that this was going to maybe happen. But either way, again, optics. They're bad. Uh, as far as how it impacts the team overall, I, I don't see a major impact. Let's face it. While Yachty had a great game offensively on Friday, uh, three hits, he's still batting, what, about 215 or so? I mean, it... Offensively, he looks like a guy who needs to be in the final year of his career, to be blunt. So getting Andrew Kisner in there, that's good. He needs all the reps he can get for the Cardinals to, one, decide if he is the guy uh, going forward. And two, it, if not, it's more, there's a bigger sample size for the Cardinals to have to make that decision. Um, and, you know, to be fair to Kisner, he's got it. He's got a double uh, tonight. So I'm filming this on Saturday night. Yeah, he's, I don't know. I, I don't think the, the club misses him that much, especially when they know that, okay, he's going to take care of this and he'll be back uh, on Monday. All right, fine. Um, it's different when from when he was hurt and everyone was talking about how the, the locker was just different without Yachty. I don't see that being an impact. Um, yeah, I... I I guess really that's the biggest thought I wanted to share is that if you're going to be mad about this, the Cardinals front office shares some of the blame 
um, if you want to assign blame. Um, yeah, that's really all I've got. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a weird situation. Uh, but anyway, that's, I just wanted to talk about that with you guys real quick. Um, keep it tuned in to Under the Arch Sports. We're going to have more Cardinals coverage as the season winds down and the playoff push continues. And we're going to have more Mizzou coverage as the season's almost here. We'll have our season preview coming up in the next few days. And later on, as the season begins, we'll have our week-by-week -week game previews and predictions. So keep an eye out for those. Thanks for checking out this video. See you guys next time.